The Z in Splinter Z stands for Zion, but I like to think it stands for zombie. Harvested from the guts of the now dead Zion, this motherfucker came to eat your brains and chew through your stems, and it does both of these with ease. RBT is fighting to stay dominant in the on-demand convection market, and the Z is a manifestation of that. Because let's be honest, the Splinter was great as it was, but being the mad scientist that he is, he had to shoot for more power, and that power can be felt in every pool and seen through every rig. Subscribe for more. Nestled in a coffin corpse of wood bits and pulp, or a cardboard box if you're a normie, you'll find the Z in its current package form. This may change over time, as rumors say there are exciting things around the corner, but inside of a hemp pouch you get the Z in true RBT form. There are no exterior screws with the exception of the 510 connection, the same place at the bottom that the logo's etched in. You also get a few extra screens, and a stem, and a skewer. The new exhilarator stem keeps the vapor superiorly cool, and it can be doubled as a butane vaporizer if you get the urge. The Z has twice the heater surface as the standard, and you can tell. The Vapor seems to have much more potential with the Z. On a standard mod, you'll want to fire the Z on 50 watts max as RBT's instruction state. With the Temp Controlled mod, you get more satisfying results, but it does take a bit of fine tuning to find the perfect heat level for yourself. And if you're just like, fuck the instructions, you can download FJ's Tubo firmware and it will work with the Splinter. I know the Z is a zombie, but if you run it on cruise mode for over 30 seconds, your warranty will be dead. Just a warning. The splinter needs about as much cleaning as a teenage boy thinks they need to be cleaned. And I know from personal experience, it ain't all that often. After every session, you'll want to blow out any crumbs that may be accumulating on the top of the screen. And as with all stem based vaporizers, the stem is the main area of concern when it comes to cleaning. These days, I find that hot water followed by ISO is my new preferred method. There are no residual odors. And if you find your stems get locked often, this would be the time to give it a preventative layer of beeswax. The Splinter Z will raise your tolerance from the depths of sobriety. Grab one today if you're into the whole 510 threaded movement, or maybe you just like the Milena and wish you had the ability to raise or lower the heat level, this one is for you. The low level of maintenance needed to operate is nice too. The higher surface area gives off more heat and stays hotter for longer, which is cool for people with deeper lungs, and it's also versatile and handles concentrates and water quite well. It could also be picked up and used by almost anyone unless they don't have the fundamentals of inhaling down. For one, the Z is large, so if you're looking for a vaporizer to travel in your pants or shirt pocket, it's going to weigh too much. The Splinter also needs a mod to operate, and with so many counterfeits and faulty units floating around, mod and battery selection is key, and some may not be up for the hunt. And like other RBT vaporizers, the female glass inside of the unit is prone to drops, so you want to make sure you take care of it. It would also be nice if the screen was deeper to accommodate more than just US jointed 18mm stems. We want options. And would also be nice to run custom firmware without fear of losing warranty. The Splinter Z is the Zion Reborn, which is great for someone like me who missed out on the Zion train, so you no longer have to chew your brains out thinking of the what ifs. The Z can also give you fleshy hits that remind you of combustion. Follow RBT on Instagram and check the description for the best place to buy. And make sure you hit that sub button too. Thanks for watching.